All right, I am now, um, well, far enough, just at the Burger King up the street from Walmart. Um, cannot believe what just freaking happened with the active shooter at Beach Grove Walmart. Um, <laughs> you know, there was another video I was gonna post on here, and. Face, so I'm not gonna post that one. I mean, I'm I'm okay. Um, they did catch him. It was a 23-year-old Hispanic male, and um, from my understanding, we have one person injured. multiple update videos when it comes to this stuff. I'm not sure yet. Well, I want to know the one person injured might have been a customer. Um, we, had, we had a shooter in the front of the building at the grocery side. Or no, 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 no. GM side, excuse me. Um, so... I did hear news about them running running off toward a hotel nearby. Um, eventually, he did get caught, but this is just crazy. I'm just, I'm hoping nobody got killed on this. I was, I was at layaway, um, in the, going to the bathroom, and then, like, when I was done, um, I was like hearing people like yell out uh, so I get out of the building there's a manager there and um, it's from, from what I know of um, you know what I know of you know, the shooter was in the front I never even heard any gunshots go off but some other people did at least three went off to my knowledge Hopefully in the next upcoming days, the uh, police be able to get a full report on this. But this this was just freaking insane. I mean, I I I, I don't still I'm still speechless. Like, but yet at the same time, there's still like a part of me where I'm not surprised because you know if there was going to be an active shooter anywhere it would have been my freaking store <sighs> go figure something go figure they would have gone after this store <laughs> well, I mean why, why wouldn't they go after any other store here in this city why, why wouldn't they Because, you know, I'm I'm in the inner city Walmart, so, you know, you got, you know, two interstates right by. People could just go and get away or whatever. Thankfully, he didn't get that far. He did get caught. He better, whoever this 23-year-old male was, they, they better lock him up for a long time. You know, you still don't think that that's going to happen to you. Even, even if you think that you could see something coming. But, um, I don't know. You know, just two days ago, what I might have mentioned here is we just had an active shooter actually in the city. Uh, on the west side of Indy, which side of the city I live on, and this is at the FedEx building. And that was a former employee. And who knows, was is this Hispanic? From my knowledge, it is. To my knowledge, it's a Hispanic male that did this. 
Uh, who knows if, I don't know, they were a former employee here, you know, at this, at this Walmart or not. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Um, about, like, more information on who he was or, like, the motives of even why he did this. This is crazy with this freaking violence, you know? I mean, this this is just madness. Just two days ago was the freaking mass shooting at the FedEx building, which I live 10 minutes away from that building because I live pretty close by the airport. Like, it's... The FedEx building is, like, pretty much, like, right in that vicinity. Now... I, you know, I had debates on, to myself, on possibly even wearing a bulletproof vest because I have one. Now, this starts to make me think that, you know, maybe I just need to put it on, like, moving on out. I don't know. Makes me wondering about it. Usually, I don't wear it. I wouldn't. I don't really feel it wearing that work because, you know, it's, like, really heavy and stuff. But, shoot, that kind of thing's going to save your life. And, well, and, and I knew whenever I was, whenever we were going to be going to the side of the building, and I, here I was, I was actually leading people to the side, to the grocery side of the building. Because at that moment, the shooter was running off toward, toward the hotel nearby. And what I was doing was I was just like peeking slowly and stuff because just go, like peeking around like a few corners because I don't know the situation at the time. I have to be extra safe so that I don't become another statistic. I'm, you know, I'm not about to freaking die. I'm not about to freaking die. Absolutely not. So, thankfully there was not another shooter. But I'll tell you what, I was getting, uh, I, I was just, I was even like, even by, well, was by OGP, I was trying to make sure there wasn't like someone hiding there or anything, you know? Because I, when I don't know, the situation like that, especially in the heat of the moment, like, I have to assume there could be more than one shooter. I'd rather prepare for the worst and then it actually become a really good outcome like it did here than as opposed to being underprepared and then I'm freaking dead. Or even if I survive, then I'm, I have some sort of injury where... You know, it screws me up the rest of my life or something like that. And I didn't want to take that type of chance. Especially whenever I'm the, I'm freaking in front of everybody here. I got a bunch of customers, mostly, and you know, a few employees that are following me. Because they're telling, because they were trying to tell us to go to the side of the building. So I wasn't going to put anybody else at risk. So. Well, we'll see how things develop in the upcoming days, even weeks from now, but um, I just know that this, this, this is just, this, this is like beyond sad. <sighs> Makes you wonder like, what's this country? you know, got into now, you know? What's, what's gotten all this country? <sighs> I hope that everybody else is safe. That's what I'm just gonna hope for. Um, you know, we'll, 
I'm okay. I'm still a little shaken up, but I'm getting okay, on 10 minutes here. Um, still keep providing updates, though, any thing that comes possible.